Hey Craig here. I just thought I'd do a quick video on the oiling of the mill, uh, the manual oiler and how I have it set up. Okay, like I said, I went with the manual oiler. Uh, the other one was uh, like another 300, nearly $300 or something like that. Um, I basically just uh, drill a hole through the wood here and uh, just strapped it up along the back. It just comes out right here. So. Um, I actually rotated this bracket. Uh, this bracket was over on this side, but I wanted, I didn't want to put the, the thing over here because it'll either get bumped over there, uh, or it won't. This is just more convenient to have it right here when I'm working, you know, I can just go ahead and pull it, you know, it's just right there. So I rotated the bracket to the back side. Uh, I was originally going to turn this and have it go this way, but I just drilled a hole through there. Um, and also I have it set up so that uh, I can actually refill it. You have to be a little careful, but I could just take this jug and just pour it right in there just like that. And then just close it up. So, uh, so basically, well, according to the manual, the best time to oil it is when the, the mill is in motion. So, when I first got it, I guess there's a bunch of air in the oil lines. So, I had to pull this a lot. I could actually watch the thing going down. I kept pulling it until I could feel oil on the ways and uh, one of the easiest places to check is right up top here let me uh, page down here basically you don't want to just have the, the mill in one position while they're oiling it because all it's going to do is oil it in that one spot I mean it'll probably get pushed around a little bit but uh, I was just basically feeling back there, and I can feel the oil on there. You can see it right there. Before it was really dry. Uh, I kept doing it and I actually had oil coming. You see I get a little oil coming out right there. So I don't want to oil it too much and have oil coming out, but there's like a 15 points of, of oiling on this thing. Uh, there's a number of them underneath here. It basically is just oils all the ways and the uh, the ball screws on all the axes so I think the manual said uh, you're supposed to oil it every four hours of operation and uh, after 48 hours of un of non-use so and I think that's about it Right. Oh, one other thing I wanted to add. Um, obviously, Tormox thinks that uh, oiling the ways is so critical that they would put in this system and multi point, you know, 15 points of oiling. Um, that I thought it's probably a good idea to do something similar on the mini mill. Um, I'm not sure how I'd go about doing that but uh, either that or you just keep up on oiling all the different locations the ways I think they have them on both ways here on the top the ball screws um, either that or just have to be more religious of getting oil on the uh, on the mini mill with just a can oiler so alright if you like this video please give it a thumbs up uh, feel free to leave any comments in the comments section below, and if you haven't subscribed, uh, please subscribe.